Hello YouTube and welcome to another Happy Lobby Clearance shopping haul. I believe this is number four. So today I actually only ran into Hobby Lobby to grab um, one of these vinyl sheets. Well, a couple of these vinyl sheets. I'm doing a project right now and I'm using this print and um, I just needed like a few more and I knew that they were on clearance for 62 cents. So I went in to grab a few, didn't even have a basket. And then I noticed that the stamps and the um, dyes and some of the embossing um, powders were on sale. So I went and grabbed a basket. So in the last video, Angelique Casmir, I hope that I'm pronouncing your name correctly. Um, she let me know, um, about the embossing folders and the powders and the acrylic stamp sets and the blocks being on sale. Um, and I did find all of that. Um, we also chatted about the Christmas serving set. Y'all, I went back in the back to see the Christmas serving sets again. They were completely gone. So the red set that I got in the last video, they're um, no longer at my store. And it was like a wall full of them yesterday. Well, anyway. Um, and then I also spoke with one of my friends here, Jessica Leah's Cards and Crafts, and she scored um, a few of the stamps that she showed me. So I was super excited to get in there and see what my store had as well. So I did get this um, World Map stamp set by Hip Stamp Parade, regular price, $5.99. And I scored that for $1.49. And I think that is so cute for like a background stamp. Um, I saw a couple of people get these already. <clears throat> It's the Stamp Abilities Clear Stamp. So a lot of um, really good sentiments in here that, you know, that are uh, frequently used. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thinking of you. Sympathy. Um, this is a clear stamp by Memento. Regular. Oh, this one was um, $9.99 and I got it for $2.49. This Memento Clear Stamp, another like really good background stamp, was $7.99. I got it for $1.99. Um, Hip Stamp Hooray again. This is the postage stamp one. Um, I saw a couple of people score this one as well. I think that it is so cute. Um, regular price, $5.99. Got it for $1.49. And then I'm really excited for this one. Um, this is the Noted Stamp Set. Um, regular price $5.99 got it for $1.49 and that's how that looks so cute so what I have been using for a stamping block um, it's like my and it's dirty because I use it it's got glue and paint and all kind of stuff on it but it is a we are memory keepers all in one tool and I have like the little glass that goes onto the little magnetic part and I can kind of like lift it up push it into this corner and everything I love this um but I also I do get like a lot of misses sometimes using it I think it's kind of a good starter type stamping pad um so i did i was able to get these clear stamps regular price a dollar 99 the block uh, from stamp abilities and that's the number on that regular price 11.99 got it for 2.99 which is an awesome awesome deal and i probably should have gotten like all of them but i did like a lot of damage in there today so well, this is what I have. Um, I also got the one that was two inches by six inches. Um, also by Amp Abilities. I thought it was Stamp Abilities. Uh, it is. I think it's missing a couple of letters here. But anyway, um, five ninety nine. I got it for a dollar forty nine. Yeah, Stamp Abilities. <laughs> okay. So while we're talking about stamping posts snapping um mats and everything i also found this we are memory keepers typeset stamping block um 14.99 regular price it was on sale for five dollars and 99 cents 
such a great deal. I have seen um, this being used in videos before. So um, I'm kind of excited. And now I'm, I'm actually looking at this and I probably should have got like the individual letters because those were on sale as well. And oh my gosh, I might go back on Monday just to pick up the letters to go with this. And also, while we're talking about stamps, um, I found this. It's that Wendy Vici Make Art Station. Um, I have not, have I seen this before? I don't know. Anyway, regular price, $21.99. I got it for $5.49. Thought that that was an awesome deal. Um, so it looks like it's like a magnetic, uh, oh, it is a magnetic surface for stenciling and aligning and bossing and creating. So, yeah, okay. They did have this little embossing mat in there and it was on clearance too, but I didn't know what I would use it for. Um, so I didn't get it, but to go along with that, I did pick up the ruler. It was $9.99. I got it for $2.49. Okay, I did pick up the perfect stamp positioner. I hope I start making some wonderful stamped images. I'm just saying it. <laughs> um, I picked that up. I picked up the magnets as well. I'm, I don't know where they are right now. But anyway, um, let's see. Put this back over. So this has the pad in it. So I picked up the ruler. I did pick up the magnets. Um, the archival case. I picked that up as well. They only had two left. Regular, excuse me, regular price on it is $8.99. And I got it for $2.24. It has like a little clear tray in it which is so cool. I only got the one. I really kind of wanted both of them, but the other one was um, dented in really badly, so I didn't pick that up. I also got one of these packs of archival inks to go in it. Um, regular price, $12.99. I paid $3.24 for it, which I think is an awesome deal for these inks. And I got this color as well. So, so cute. And so that I'm hoping will um, fit nicely in my storage tin. What else is on here? Okay. So that's that. Let me set it to the side somewhere. I'm running out of space. That is my next mission. I have to find places to put all of this. Okay, so while we're talking about storage then, I found these. I have been eyeing these for a while and I was not paying $7.99 for it. And it seems to like never go on sale. So I picked it up for $1.99. And um, let's see. You can just like store your stamps and stuff in it. Oh, it's it's closed, closed. So I picked that up. And then I found another one. Actually, I think this is the one that I have been looking at, not this one. Um are they the same? They are the same, but this one is flat. For some reason okay i'll figure it out but anyway um so that's what the tray looks like so you can just kind of like align your stamps in and i may have enough now to actually fill one of these up um they also had the irene buddy bag is that the same price yeah $1.99 um the irene buddy bag um so you can put your inks or 
or washi tape or anything like that in there. So a cute little storage bag. And regular price on this was $6.99. And I paid $1.74. $1 and that's how that looks on the back. $6.99, yep. So, so cute. Um, let's see. I also got this tidy tray. I'm really excited about this um, for beads and sequins and everything, like um, maybe some glitters and stuff. I'll definitely be able to like funnel stuff with that. So excited. I got that in the regular price, $4.99. I paid $1.24. Okay, let's move all of that out of the way. They had the embossing inks. I mean, the embossing powders on sale. So I got it in silver. All of these were regular price $5.99 and I paid $1.49 for all of them. Um, so I got it in silver. I got it in gold. Now, I have this embossing powder in gold and I use it all the time. This looks different. One second. Okay, so the one that I use all the time is actually Princess Gold. So that makes it um, makes more sense because this looks more chocolatey, um, like definitely more brown rather than a gold. And I love the Princess Gold. So um, I've had this for a really long time and I still have a lot of the powder left. I use it almost um, literally like almost every time I stamp. But anyway, um, so I bought it in the gold. So now the silver, the gold, and also yellow tinsel, the lime tinsel, the green tinsel. And one of these tinsels I remember that I did not like. So I hope I didn't pick it up again. And then the bubbly, which I have high hopes for this. So... I can't wait to um, get a chance to actually play with these. I do enjoy embossing. Um, you guys saw me score these yesterday. This was the only pack that they had. Okay, sorry about that. I ran out of space. I have been doing these haul videos back to back to back. So let me try to hurry on this. Um, I got the Thin Lids die. Um, and I'm hoping that these will fit into my little um die cutting machine but they all look small enough the max size from um that i can use on mine is three by six inches so they look pretty good i'm excited to try those out um and i got this one the framelits regular price 12.99 i got it for 3.24 this one was regular price 21.99 and i got it for 5.49 this one was regular price $14.99 and I got it for $3.74. And this one just has like two tags and an ornament that says Noel with some stars and then some Christmas sentiments to go along with that. Um, I got the Spellbinders Poinsettia, regular price $19.99. I got it for $4.99 and um, I'm hoping that that one will fit. But I needed one of these really badly. So um, I'm really, really, really like most excited about this one. And then this one I had been eyeing for a while. I knew that it was going to be reduced. Regular price $14.99. Um, and I got it for $3.74. So, so cute. Okay, um, I also got a Versacolor. The, some of the ink pads were on sale. I didn't get as many as I probably should have. Um, but anyway, I got this Versacolor in um, white. Um, the clear ones and the black, of course, were not on clearance. I just picked up one of the stamp blocks. And what does this say? May your birthday be filled with many blessings. Got it for $1.74, regular price $6.99. I went back and got more of these Prismacolor 
um, premieres. And I do believe that they're alcohol um, based markers and they are dual tip. And they're hard too. So that's the end on that one. And they smell like alcohol. So, and then this is like a thinner tip on this one so I'm super excited to use these and I wonder how it'll mix with like my spectrum noir pens so we shall see and I found these this sticker book uh, from agenda 52 regular price $17.99 y'all why they be priced so high anyway got it for $4.99 and it's um it's sealed but that's kind of how that looked. And I actually purchased some of these separately. Um, like these, let's see, it's a Valentine set in here. I've seen um, that set. But this is a set that I purchased separately on clear um, for Valentine's Day. And it turned out really cute. So anyway, I have that. I also picked up the Happy Planner stickers. These were so cute. So, y'all, I don't even, <laughs> I'm not really into happy pl um, planning and stuff like planners, but I do have one and I might just have to start doing, putting something in it. I don't know. But I thought that these stickers were actually cute for happy mail and decorating stuff. Um, so, yeah. Um. I think I bought these in my first haul and they had been sold out. I don't know if someone returned this or if they found another pack in the back. But um, yeah, regular price $9.99. I got it for $2.49. These are the cards and envelopes. And that's how that looks. So I picked up another stack of these. I definitely have to get busy on cards. Um, and I'm supposed to be making some cards for Cards for Cubs. So, yeah. Um, so, also, there are some ladies here on YouTube that do, like, online paint parties. And I wanted to join one. So, I just bought myself, like, a, some paint supplies. They were all 50% off for the Master's Touch. And for, oh, here are those um those magnets that I was looking for. They were $5.99. I got it for a dollar forty-nine. So um yeah, the master's touch. I finally broke down and got me some gesso so I can be into my little mixed media thing. But I also got like some acrylic paint and um the fine touch. These were also on sale for 50% off. And I do believe that that concludes my haul. So, you guys, thank you for rocking with me on these four videos. I hope I didn't burn you out. I, it was so much fun for me shopping. I probably will not be back with the shopping haul. <laughs> um, hopefully for a long time. But honestly, when the paper goes on sale, I'll probably be right back over there. <laughs> at Hobby Lobby looking at the paper so and I'll definitely bring that to you um if and when that happens so thank you guys be blessed